hello everyone today we will start alignment of stl file this tutorial covers three exercise exercise one this exercise shows alignment using reference plane that is extracted from mesh regions exercise two you can select reference geometry from alignment but you also can directly select necessary regions for alignment as discussed in this exercise exercise 3 if you have cat data and want to align scan data to cat data this exercise shows how to align them so we will start alignment from an stl file so we will need to import stl file first we will import stl file in geomagic design x so I have import STL file and you can see these planes are not aligned with STL files. So first of all we will make regions from this STL file. So first go to region and click on auto segment. So here you can click on OK. So STL file has been converted into regions. So you can see you can see plane where is so first of all hide these all plane. then go to model and select plane click on plane so I will see here is plane in green so I will select on this surface here and click on ok so I have, I have created one plane top plane now I will need side plane so we will use again plane options and click on side plane Now I will need third plane. So I will click again on plane options and if this surface is flat I will click on this surface to create a plane. So now I will click on this surface. If you see the area is not clear for the plan, you can you can shrink it. So I will go to regions and click on this. I will shrink it so that roughly data will be removed from its edges so I have select this service and shrink it so you can see its size decreasing this one if you want to increase size of this region you can click on enlarge button and its area will be increase so now we will need shrink it so this area is enough 
for reference plane so now now we will go to model and click on plane and click on this surface we have these three planes for alignment so now we will go to alignment so there is a alignment options click on alignment and interactive alignment we will go to align mesh file through interactive alignment so click on interactive alignment and click on next button here is STL file you can work here and this is just for alignment align view so first first select plane front plane it's front plane so click on plane and select its front plane now you will see its view here now we will click on vector and vector here you can select side plane here I have select plane and position you can you can put this position from this plane so I have click on this plane you can see alignment here so click on ok and hide this plane and you can see all planes are aligned with STL file you can check from these all views it is completed aligned it is completely aligned with planes so now you now we will use example 2 so go to new now I will import second file for second example here I have imported file you can see it is not aligned here you can see you can click on views and see if it is aligned or not so it is not aligned part so we will need to align its plane so first of all before setting his plane we will go to regions and click on auto segment it, in, it is necessary to first click on auto segment so that we can click on its plan So I have imported mesh data. <coughs> you can also import mesh data using insert import. So now hide the plan. now I will shrink its this plane because you can see here is rough surface so we will need clean surface for the plane so that I will shrink its this area plane area <coughs> so click on this plane and shrink its size <coughs>
you can see its area decreasing when I click on shrink button so this is enough for the plan so now we will go to here model and select on plan and select on this area so this is not so we again click on this thing and here you will need to click on extract button so here you can extract plane and click on ok you can see plane has been placed on this surface so now click on alignment go to interactive click on interactive alignment and click on next button here you will work you can decrease now here is click on plane here is our plane here I have click now in cylindrical shape we will click on vector and we will click on its cylinder here you can see cylinder so now I have click it's slender and click on position position is origin so click on ok button and hide this plane and show these three main plane so now we will check align alignment so we will click on all views click front view you can see alignment has been successfully on this part click on side plane So this is the method of alignment on any STL file. Now we will start exercise 3 where you can merge CAD and STL file. going to import CAD file the file is heavy therefore it will take some seconds Here, care file has been imported. Now I will import its STL file. Here is STL file imported. 
you can see these two files are in different places we will merge them through alignment and now now we will click on quick fix select quick fit button click the target body and select imported body one target body is here and click on ok button now global method will be always global so click on just click on ok button you can see scan data is aligned to cat data here you can click on deviation for body to check deviation of this part here you can see scan data is aligned to CAD data so in this tutorial we have covered three exercises in exercise one Exercise 1 shows alignment using reference plane that is extracted from mesh regions. As a true, you can select reference geometry for alignment but you also can directly select necessary regions for alignment as discussed in this exercise. And in exercise 3 we have learned if you have CAD data and want to align scan data to CAD data this exercise shows how to align them. So wait for the next tutorial of reverse engineering. Thank you.